October the 12th, 2023. Guys, you're looking at satellite images over the U.S. and Mexico and southern Canada. And you got very cold air spinning here. Winter weather watches and uh, warnings are out in this entire area. Here in Florida, guys, you're getting uh, a break in the rain. Now, let me say this. We were hoping... Uh, that we would get some rain here in Mississippi from the system that we watched start all of this. Came up out of the uh, Bay of Campeche and then into the Southern Gulf. And we did, starting yesterday, guys, we probably had over 12 hours of the slow, solid rain. No, hardly no any wind at all. And it really helped the situation here. Florida and Georgia, uh, looks like South Carolina, North Carolina have been, are getting some rain now. But this cold front that's starting to push all of this out into the Gulf, guys, is going to get dangerous. These two sections right here coming out of the Central Gulf headed your way. And it's going to be tailing today from this uh, moisture system here in the, in the Bay of Campeche. But right now you've got a couple million people under a tornado watch because of this band right here and this cool air pushing. Let's take a look at that. Now, this is the current map that we're, that we're dealing with here. Again, Florida, you've got s a, at least a few million people here under a tornado watch along the coast from Alabama all the way around Florida up into the Georgia, South Carolina. You've got uh, that line there. You've got small craft warning and then gale force wind warnings offshore. All of this is very cold air. And uh, you've got red flag warnings. This is wind You've got all of this is wind warnings here, dark purple or freeze warnings. Here you got um, frost warnings, and then in the uh, lighter purple and pink are either uh, freeze, I mean winter storm watches or winter storm warnings. You can click on this and go to your area and actually look at the radar. But right now in Florida, guys, this is going to be a concern because you can you could have power outages, things like that. Be prepared for that. Now I haven't seen a tornado watch a warning pop up yet but you guys be prepared because again we got this changing from the warm air to cooler air and that's always volatile this time of the year all the way up into november and the last few years have really been crazy weather all over the planet but guys keep an eye on this we're watching it I, let's take one look at just the overall cloud cover you'll see what we're dealing with with that also and possibly why we're seeing these gale watches and warnings come up now, I mentioned that rain, and it cooled it down. We are presently at 9.40 a.m. at 62 degrees in central Mississippi. You can see the overcast, uh, overcast in Alabama here. But these two right here, uh, the tailing storms, are over warm water. And it's a little warmer in Florida. Right now, again, we're at 62 degrees as all, and I'm not complaining. But uh, it's warm in the Gulf and this far south. You're probably 70s guys. Let us know. And that's I really like to hear from y'all when we're talking about tornadoes in your area. But uh, just let us know. But this is what you've got coming. And you can see exactly where it's going to trail across Florida here. We'll be watching it. Keep uh, Turn on your weather radios. Set it to where you get your tornado warnings and things like that. And make sure they're charged up, plugged in. And a tornado can knock out power for a few days if it tears up poles and blows a transformer. So you've got to be aware of that. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.